Today is gonna to be part two of the alligator enclosure. Look at this girl. She's just enjoying the movie over here. She's watching. Like the size of this, and they freaking swallow them. You handle them both with love, care, and uh, gentleness, and you should be good. We'll see what happens. I'm not worried about him. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm gonna just toss this guy in quickly. All right. Welcome back to Blake's Exotic and Amaranchi, guys. Today is going to be part two of the alligator enclosure, the crocodilia enclosure, the DIY enclosure. We got some plants. We got for the door right here. We got hinges. We got locks. Dylan has the little saw machine thingy to cut this piece of wood that we need. Yeah, so it's part two. Today we're going to plant all this stuff. We're going to move the alligators inside of the enclosure. See how it is. I fixed everything up and it looks pretty good it's just these last little last little touches we got to do and yeah we're gonna do that you guys but uh if you guys are new here to blake's exotic animal ranch i am blake i need a haircut i'm freaking look like a caveman right now but that's okay because ranch life doesn't stop and we got to keep on moving but uh yeah so let's get back there i'm gonna show you what's going on so we're back here to the little enclosure that we built this is how as far as we got for the part one, as you guys saw in the video, but today we have a piece of plywood right here that we are going to place in about right there in its perfect height so nothing can climb out of here without a doubt. We're going to hinge it to the side. We're going to have a locker and cut it off so obviously it fits nice and perfect. But um, so I have this beautiful piece of palm tree kind of thingy, my barber. And I thought where this would look great is going to be in that back far corner over there. So I'm going to place that over there. And then we have the two taller bushes. We're going to put this there and then there's little pretty uh red ones hopefully the emus don't destroy them too fast i would like to put them at the entrance i think that would be pretty cool place this thing right into here there you go slide it a little bit more this way right there pretty decent so the gators can actually hide behind this as well if they really want to Just gives it a little bit more of a little pop. Cool. What the heck? I hope that piece of wood doesn't break, buddy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be really funny. <laughs> now let's grab some more plants. There we go. And these guys says full sun. I picked everything for full sun because over here gets a lot of sun, so that's gonna be perfect. And I don't want to put them in the ground because this is just like a DOI setup. So that's perfect right there. They can stay in that pot for a little while without a problem. There we go. We got two little plants in there. Those can grow real big in there. Once they grow a little bit bigger, we could just change the pot. But if we want to ever take out the plants and put them somewhere else, it's fine. But of one, two, and three, we got two more plants right over here. Look at this girl. She's just enjoying the movie over here. She's watching. She's just enjoying it. We move this mulch out out of the way and the same thing we're just going to leave them in the pots okay there pretty cool so let's measure this piece of wood real quick cut it screw it in so it's ready to go and i mean just with those five plants right there what are you doing man literally just watching us, watching us work it's so funny with just those five plants right there you guys it makes it just a whole complete different the mulch the rocks everything and like i said in my last video this is an easy diy setup many people obviously can't have crocodilians but for aquatic turtles this is prime you would just want to raise it up a little bit higher over there so the turtles can get in and out without a problem and this is a perfect pond it's pretty much like i said this whole thing now with everything was exactly three hundred dollars so if you buy a very large, my God, Willie. Yeah, an extra large waterland tub, it's gonna cost $300 just to plastic. So instead of doing that, you make your DIY setup like this, it's more natural looking and 
why not? It's another way for people that have small little backyards and things of that sort that want to breed some aquatic turtles. I think this is the best, perfect little way without a doubt. But for my situation, I am going to be putting some crocodilians in here without a doubt. So yeah, this is pretty much done. Like I said, doing this door right now. And if you guys notice, it's been very, very, very overcast in today's video. And up north, I got a really bad winter or snowstorm. So this is pretty much Florida's snowstorm. It's like just misting all day long. It's really annoying, but you got to keep on going here at the ranch. So let's cut this up and put this together. So we cut the piece of wood. There's the other piece. Emu's still here watching us. That's the actually the male emu. So he's just like hanging out with the boys. You know what I mean? He's just chilling. And the girls are just, he doesn't even care right now. But uh, anyways, we got the wood cut. I'm gonna put this bad boy right about there. There. And I'm gonna screw in this first one. Dylan, can you just hang on to that side just a little bit? Yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. And then stay right there. I got the screws that come with the hinges. Put these in my freaking hand right there. And we're gonna put that right there, right there. There we go. Okay, here we go. Airplanes flying left and right, and it's raining. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we put the door on there. The rain does not stop. The emus don't care. But with the tools and things of that sort and the cameras, it's just really hard to get the footage. So we're going to stop for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And there we go. All right, you guys. Beautiful day here on the ranch next day. Like I said, it was going to be perfect out. That's how Florida is. And uh, fun fact. The emus, I've been noticing that they've been eating a lot of rocks. And I was like, these things are crazy. But uh, they eat rocks and they keep them in their gizzard, wherever that is, I'm not 100% sure, somewhere in here. And they do that to grind up food. So it's just a part of their diet because I'm like, I was kind of worried about it because they literally pick up rocks like the size of this and they freaking swallow them. <laughs> Don't swallow that, my God, stop. All right, let's come back over here. He just grabbed the whole rock. But there's rocks absolutely everywhere, so like there's nothing I obviously could do. But um, yeah, they eat rocks. I have the door on there. I have it all secured, pretty much ready to go. I have this piece of plywood as my door. Um, it goes right there. I have this little latch right here, so I'm gonna add a uh, bungee cord there to wrap it around the side, so it keeps it nice and closed, and everything is good. I mean, look, this is the door. This is the whole entire enclosure. We have the moat. The water's been in for the last few days now without any problems, and. It's time for the gators to come inside their new enclosure and explore. You know what it's time to do? Go get the gators and caimans. Look at the emails. Look at them, look at them, look at them. They're so like nosy. But um, time to go get the caimans and oh, I cut some seed grapes. They're gonna like some cover. Let's grab some seed grape branches and just throw it inside the pond so they have a little bit more camouflage. Two grab So I got two branches of seed grapes. They're still green. So that's kind of good because if I keep them in the water, they might actually stay green for probably about a week or so without a problem. So that's a plus. Let's go put these bad boys in there. And um, get these gators and get these gators and caimans and uh, hopefully we don't get bit because every time you grab something, it's a different day. You don't know what can happen. You just try your best and uh, do your best. So <laughs> perfect. That's all you gotta do. They just feel, it's just natural. You know what I mean? There you go. So now they can hide in there, they go in there. They got this log up here, they can just chill and sunbathe. They can jump over here and feel the floor instead of feeling rubber. Jump into the back to the rocks to feel a different texture. I think it's a perfect little enclosure. And they can stay in here without a doubt for, I don't know, a good little while until I make something else for them. So let's go grab them. So we're here into this section. Oh, we have water lettuce too that we can put over there as well. So we can probably do that too. So let me grab these gators. I have two right here. So let me grab this one. All right, they're pretty cool here because it's been late there, but it's okay. You all right, mister? How you doing? Look at those teeth. All right, so you stay right there, underneath there. Oh, now you want to open your mouth. And then this one. Ooh. Okay, ready? One, two. One, 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 one. Let go. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. One hand. Okay. There. Got it. Right underneath the armpit, you secure that tail and you're good, so... There we go, we got two alligators right here. Now let's go bring these bad boys to their new enclosure so that they don't have to stay inside this pool pond. Let's do it. Louie and the two caimans are still inside their alligator enclosure over there. They're still a little too small for these guys, so I wanna keep them separate because Louie is the OG alligator here on the ranch. And we've grown him since he was a little like seven inch hatchling. So um, that's the reason why I don't wanna put them together just in case something happens. 
So let's bring these guys over here. Come on, girls. Come on, boys. We're going to just put them on the land and see what they do. They'll probably just run right into the water, to be honest. Low key, I kind of like this little enclosure with all the little landscaping and everything on it. It looks dope, you guys. I mean, many people obviously can't have alligators, like I said earlier. But, um, there you go, mister. But you guys could have this as an aquatic turtle setup without a problem. There you go, buddy. There you go. Go see that water. Go find that water. And now they can walk on that land a little bit. They gotta figure it out once they figure it out. Come on. Come on. There you go. Go figure it out. I bet we go back and come over here. They'll be inside of the enclosure without a doubt. They're like, uh oh, I see an emu. The emus are probably gonna look at them like, what the heck are these? But the emus are used to all the all, all the um, turtles and birds and everything without a problem. They're just very, very curious animals, I can tell you that much. All right, we'll just leave them there right now. I bet when we come back, they'll probably already be in the water. Grab the other two, and then I'll show them the water just in case. Got my bungee cord, so I'm gonna lock that door up with this. Be nice and tight. And uh, so we had a caiman and an American alligator left. The caimans camouflaging very, very well in that back corner. Um, Caymans can be spicy. They're a little bit more spicier compared to the gators, but um, you handle them both with love, care, and uh, gentleness, and you should be good. We'll see what happens. What did I tell you? These guys, I swear, they have an invertebrate that they can reach farther back, they're stronger, and they're just so much more spicier compared to a gator. But um, he's a big guy. Beautiful spectacle camera right there. These guys compared to my other ones, this guy will definitely, I don't think he could take your finger off right now, but he definitely, it wouldn't feel good. How about that? So we try to be as careful as we can be with this beautiful guy right here. There we go. I like him on this side better, more control. There we go, so we're good right there. The American alligators, these guys don't really bother me as much. I'm used to these guys. All right, okay, 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 okay. One, two, one, two. All right, got him, right there, there you go. All right, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go to a better home. Just gotta be careful, all right, we're good. Nice and good, got him in a nice controlled spot right there between the two fingers and right there. And yeah, there we go. Let's do it. All right, so we just entered inside of here. And this American alligator right here, he's in full mode of showing me I'm big, I go hurt you, this and that. He's lifted up and all this big stuff, showing me his lovely, beautiful, pearly whites. But um, I'm not worried about him. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm gonna just toss this guy in quickly. All right, we're good at that one. And this girl right here, same thing, toss him quick on top of this log. One, two. There you go, girl. Look at that. I can't wait to see him just basking on there early mornings without a doubt. And then this guy right here, look at that. Woo! Big old. Oh, come here, girl. Come here, boy. Come here. Okay. Woo! There you go. It's all right, buddy. All right, ready? One, two. One, two. Look, you're inside your water. Relax, buddy. There you go. You go chill. You got a big old pool now. Look at the camera. He's just chilling there. He's like, yep my spot probably thinks he's blending into that log right now let me get this last one throw him in the out water so he just realizes it and like i said once they want to bask they'll jump up on top of the thing oh there he goes right in perfect oy, 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 oy. all right there you go go in the water go in the water there you go so we got the alligators inside the water everything's good i'm gonna lock this bad boy up check them out in a few hours make sure everything is good but um Water is at perfect depth, exactly where I wanted it. Front feet are out of, uh, what's that called? Off the floor, so they're like a little bit of floating, so it's deep enough without a problem. See, they're all floating. It's exactly what I wanted, so that's perfect. And I'm gonna tie this right there and just pull this back to somewhere over here. Did I bring the wire cutters? Probably not, but I could do this right here. We're good. We're good. That is not going anywhere at all. So we're good, we're ready to go. We got this thing locked and I'm pretty happy about it. I ain't gonna lie. 
probably try to feed him in the next upcoming video. Well, I'll probably feed him, but you guys probably won't see him into another video because I got to definitely feed him a lot sooner than I show you guys another video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of buildings here at the ranch. I actually have a buddy of mine too that's going to be helping me a lot here as well to make very nice, good quality enclosures that are, I don't know, somewhat better. We'll see what he could do. We're going to do it. What are you looking at over there, buddy? I'm just looking at that. Oh, you're well. just you're scared of something? That's all a spider web. And it was just yeah, a you're scared of spiders, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a meet and greet happening, you guys. A very large meet and greet. J. Prehistoric Pets, the Reptile Zoo, October 20th. I will be there, and Paul Caffaro will be there. Make sure you come and say what's up. It's going to be like 4 to 8 p.m. at night. It's going to be awesome. We're going to see a bunch of different awesome animals at Jay's place. I will be posting it on my Instagram. That's why I tell every single one of you guys, follow me on Instagram for that exclusive content where I will be in different parts of the world. See you guys later. Peace out.